I'm going to demonstrate how automatic flow control valves operate when they have a temperature control valve uh, tied into the same system in conjunction with them. Here we have a typical setup. Well, it's my demo setup. We have an automatic flow control valve. We have a temperature control valve. We have a pressure gauge that's going to show our incoming pressure. And since our leaving pressure is just a plastic pipe going to ground, this is really going to indicate differential pressure, which is 15 pounds. Because we have 15 pounds coming in, and we have zero pounds coming out because it's draining on the ground. Here we have a flow meter. And right now, I have the temperature control valve open just a little bit, and it's riding right at 1 GPM. And we have about 15 pounds of differential pressure. Now this automatic flow control valve has a two and a half gallon a minute cartridge in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate opening the thermostat with the switch box and see how it responds. So right now the temperature control is simulating a room condition where it's not full open, it's partially opened. And I am going to use this pressure regulator right here and simulate some pressure increases in the building. We're going to watch it on the differential pressure gauge. So again, we have our temperature control valve partially open. We have about 1 GPM and 15 pounds differential. I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to raise it up to about 20 pounds differential. And you can see the flow increased. There we go. I'm going to back out a little bit. I'm going to take it up to about 30 pounds differential. Thirty pounds differential. And we have more than one GPM. I'm going to take it up a little more to thirty-five. And there's our flow. Alright, now while I have this on the gauge, I'm going to lower the pressure back down to fifteen so you can see what happens with the flow. There we go. All right, we've lowered it back down to 15 pounds, and you can see the fluctuation in the valve. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the valve all the way. So you can see it is a two and a half gallon a minute cartridge. There you go. So about two and a half gallons a minute and 20 pounds differential right out there. So the point of this video is to show that when regular automatic flow control valves are tied in with a temperature control valve, whenever the temperature control valve is stroked anything below full, there will be an opportunity for fluctuation in the leaving flow.